Hi, my name is Joel Labava, and I'm the Franchise King. We're going to go a little different direction today. I'm not going to talk about franchising per se. I'm going to talk a little more about my personal experience, in this case, in food service, in the restaurant business. There are a lot of people in franchising that um, uh, sell restaurants, are franchise brokers that, uh, that match people to restaurant franchise opportunities, or columnists that write about franchising. Um, there's just restaurant franchise experts. Unfortunately, a lot of them never worked in a restaurant. I, however, have many, many dozens of restaurants, many dozens. Um, and when I was younger, uh, my first job was at a restaurant and I stayed in the restaurant food service business industry for, I don't know, probably 12, 15 years. I worked at mostly upscale restaurants where I was a waiter or a maitre d' or a uh, uh, management in management. Um, but there's one, um, one restaurant story I want to share with you. Um, I've had the opportunity to um, take care of, work with some celebrities. And this by far was, I, from what I can remember, my most, my most uh, memorable experience. To me, it was funny. I don't know if it would be funny to you or not. Anyway, I worked at a restaurant in Cleveland called uh, The Garland. Um, it was also called Michelle's, a little newer version. Anyway, very upscale. Um, I wore a uh, tie, um, uh, black pants, white shirt, pressed, you know, very, very nice. All right, well, maybe not pressed like it was supposed to be, but it, it looked nice. Um, it was the place to be for a while on the east side of Cleveland. Uh, people from all over used to come in, including celebrities. Very expensive, very high class. And one night... Um, Art Modell, who you, the late Art Modell, who used to own the Cleveland Browns, came in with his wife. And I've taken care of uh, he and his wife before. Lois, I think was her name. Um, and they brought in another couple. And they uh, were seated in my section. And uh, it was fantastic. The other couple was uh, uh, Don and Barbara Rickles. Don Rickles. Now... If you're um, uh, under 45, under 40 years old, you may not have heard of Don Rickles, so I encourage you to Google him after this video, or you can pause the video, of course, and Google him. Uh, Don Rickles, uh, the late Don Rickles, was um, one of the funniest people in show business, one of the nicest guys also. Uh, the, the stories were told to me that he was. Um, Anyway, funny guy, sarcastic, um, would pick on audience members, but just was nonstop hilarious. Uh, you should check out some of the Don Rickles on the Johnny Carson show, uh, the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. Um, hilarious. Uh, he had everyone around him in stitches. Anyway, so Mr. and Mrs. Modell and Mr. and Mrs. Rickles came in, sat in a booth in my section, and... Uh, Art Modell, um, to wait on one was you know, pretty quiet, you know, had this heavy New York accent. You can tell he didn't want to BS around a lot. He just wanted it to be taken care of and kind of left alone. Uh, Don Rickles was a little more, a little more outgoing. Um, and, you know, cracked a couple jokes and I shook his hand. Nice to meet you. Big fan, blah, blah, blah. So, um, they ate their dinner and, uh, very smooth. Uh, we had a few laughs. Um, I'm, I'm very outgoing, so I'm, uh, when I wait at tables, I really try to have fun with my with my customers. So we had a lot of laughs. Uh, they paid the bill. Art Modell picked up the tab. The check was, I remember, it was like $210 for four people. They had some drinks and some wine, and, you know, the meals were 25 30 bucks each. And uh, Art Modell, who was a pretty good tipper, left 20%, left me 40 bucks. But the cool part was on their way out. For some reason... Maybe I just wanted to see, uh, you know, maybe walk next to Don Rickles and BS with him a little bit as they were leaving. But it was late. There weren't many people in the restaurant. And we went up to the front station where you, where the main entrance and exit was. And the phone was ringing. And it rang like two, three times. I swear this happened. Don Rickles picked up the phone and answered it. Uh, Michelle's going to help you. And as I found out later, it was like a doctor uh, trying to make reservations for next Saturday evening for 4 at 7 p.m. Um, and Don Rickles was on the phone. He didn't expect Don Rickles to be on the phone. I don't know if he believed it was, but he said, Don Rickles said this to the guy, you want to make reservations? You don't want to go to this hash house. It's a dump. Why the hell would you want to do that? And he handed the phone over to the uh, general manager who took the reservation. Uh, to this day, I don't know if uh, the good doctor... 
um, really believed it was Don Rickles, but it was just one of those moments that I was uh, glad to be part of. Yes, you kind of had to be there, but it was hilarious uh, at the time. Um, so Don Rickles uh, was a, a real fun guy to wait on. He wasn't uh, rude or brusque like his uh, comedic personality. He was just like a nice guy. And um, another another weird thing, his his wife Barbara, um, somewhere in 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 my house, one of my drawers, I believe I still have her autograph, Barbara Rickles. Why? Because every time they came in town, uh, she went to the hair salon, a uh, pretty upscale hair salon where my late grandmother Dora worked. Um, and she always had Dora do her manicures. So Dora, my grandmother, knew I was a big fan of, you know, comedians. And he got Barbara Rickles' autograph for me. So I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, I'm the franchising Joel Abava. Once in a while, I'm going to pop in and share some personal stories. This was a personal restaurant story. And um, eh, now you know a little bit, a little bit more about me. Um, and this was back in like... Uh, 1981, 82, probably 1982, maybe 82, 83. Uh, it was before I moved uh, to Vegas, and I remember waiting on Don Rickles and his wife and Art Modell and his wife. Anyway, that's my story. I'm going to stick to it. Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, stay tuned for more. My website, thefranchiseking.com. Thanks for watching.